my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. Friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. It's so nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Dirty long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Valka Seder works through my hammer. <laughs> when you speak with the king, hold it up to the light. Show him the fine details. See there? I etched his name in runes on the outer band. You'll show him? Mm -hmm. You're just like your father, little berserker. Skull to you. Skull! You see? She agrees. Oh, oh, oh. 
So, you have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the northern way. Mother? Yes? Can we show Stig at the can stones we stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light. have a gift to deliver. Abel, wait. Skull! Custodio! The true king of Burgafolga! Tonight, we're all... be forever bonded in friendship and love. <gasps> Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. <sighs> On ocean steed my words gain wings. Since me, our fourth will bring the noble deeds that gonna sing. The brave men slain, Valkyrie awaits. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. For those! Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil.
Pick up your axe! <sighs> Too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. Alright, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. Have you been chasing me, Wolf Kissed? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Evil Wolf Kiss is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver! <laughs> uh, to the ship! Uh. I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Can you? 
you alive! Ah! You will never, never leave this! No feast for you, Sunan. My crew is in danger. You must be my eyes. Areas off limits. Look soon in there.
this under Kjotve's lash, we will live like Jarls. It will not happen while Ravenclaw lives. They fight like berserkers. <laughs> Clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. No! Uh. Ah! Oh. You old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotwe tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davalt's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Shitless warriors crawl through Arvel's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. This place is heavily guarded. Zunin, guide me. Crew should be inside.
an opening in the roof. Smart. Use your glimmer. will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. Stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. I'll split you! I will send you to hell herself! Yeah. Kneel, Wolfkist, and I will spare your life! Shut your hole and fight! Die, you sack of shit!
Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Better no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Find us. What? Oh, yes, of course. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come, we take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice. Deep in the soft sea. Hey, ah. hey now. Ah. What's my lead? I'll survive. Fool. <laughs> Sadar can save you now. Sword sleep.
leads us home. Gods, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Sail! Set up the wind! Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is that to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, boneheaded, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island! Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them.
to row our way out. More sails! King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. Will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That the attack to this fortress killed his men and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. Hold here! Well, well! The Feeder of Ravens returns! And not half dead! We thought we had lost you, Eivor! For good this time! A warm welcome as always, Randri. You look like red and shit! What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor, did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Shut up, Rolf. How do you know? You never went on a raid. You shut up. anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work.
Hello, Eivor. Well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. I'll recall what you taught, ere I enter the fray. A fine answer! Perfect rhyme and a lovely cadence to match my line. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Eh, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Aldous. I'll take the lesson to heart. No one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? <laughs> Like Odin, mead is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Come on, 
Eivor, come to keep your blade sharp? Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Do you need anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good, and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks, it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunilda? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not the man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. Need anything else? See you later, Swain. Sure. Hi. 
Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. you in a game of Orlok. Ah, Orlok. I know this game well. Orlok. A game of skill. Orlok. <laughs> How about a game? Let's do this then. Straight into the point. May the best hand win. Come through. I come here now.
This will do. In anyone's game. Tough luck. Try again. I have had enough of this. Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at... Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scarf. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. They must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Come through. Here come here. Hush! I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks, and she is blessed. Eivor, 
It has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling and fierce. And then a figure, a gray beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you, deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? Harvey, our fates are fixed. Sigurd! Sigurd! What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Harvey. Ah! Ah! 
steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Dance! I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition, or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done.
They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Careful with that one. Eivor! See good! Ha ha! Ah, look at you, blood-soaked drinker! What, have you been warring without me? Oh, and you, salt-cured Vikinger! I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they show me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtvis' men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you, 
By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right.